Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, this is another Ninjago video. Today we're tackling Ninjago, uh, Lego Ninjago, I should say, Garmin on, uh, issue number two. Now, if you have not, uh, read the book, if you have not seen up to season ten of the Ninjago TV show, go watch the show, go read issue number one and issue number two, and hell, why not three and four while you're at it? It's a great series, it's a great TV show, it's a great comic. Uh, run. So again, this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't read the book or you just don't care about spoilers, uh, here we go. So at the end of this video, I'm going to do a little reenactment from the very beginning pages of this issue, doing my woo voice and my best interpretation of Garmanon. I haven't been practicing Garmanon, but I kind of have to read it because it's his effing <laughs> book. But uh, that'll be the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. So uh, without getting into too many spoilers, I guess so it's kind of hard to do that, so I'm just going to spoil it anyway. Um, forget that. It's a spoiler review anyway. Um, yeah, so it basically starts off with, you know, Wu and Garmanon just kind of talking and all that, uh, and then it kind of fades into, um, you know, Garmanon's adventure with the Two Moon Tea Town, I'll just say, and, uh, you know, trying to fight off this giant bear, and there's some bickering that happens. Very cool stuff. Uh, you see that Lord Mogra and the Red Crows are in the village, and they're kind of uh, making some trouble. Which, uh, you know, is not very good, but, you know, I still don't know who he is, you know, I haven't read issue 4, so uh, we don't quite know yet. Uh, there's a big badass action scene with Garmin on and this giant freaking bear, and I'm like, dude, like, this comic, man, it, it, it managed to be, you know, it's like Ninjago the show. It's kind of kid-friendly, I'd say, like, age 10 up, age maybe even 12 up in certain instances. Um, you know, it's not a kid show. It is definitely for all age groups. I would, I would even argue that Ninjago is more for teens and adults than children, um, because more teens and adults watch it than children. I mean, if you don't believe me, look on YouTube, look on Twitter, look on the freaking internet. Um, and this is definitely a, a, you know, a comic that does not shy away from action and violence because it is Garmadon. So it's really cool to see there's some really cool action scenes. And again, as always, as like the first issue, the writing is top-notch, truly top-notch writing. They got the character of Garmadon down pat. You know, he's not quite evil. He's not quite good. He's kind of more neutral. Um, so he's getting a little bit more of, of, you know, of his humanity, I should say. Uh, and we're getting some really awesome uh, scenes here. Really, really cool stuff. And, uh, you know, this, this big fight, this big fight, big bear fight is happening, and then there's an even bigger bear, uh, which I actually uh, won't show you, I don't think, maybe I did, who knows. Um, we got a really cool, basically, issue two is just him beating the crap out of a bear, and then at the end, Lord Mogra is kind of uh, doing something pretty crazy to the town. So, uh, yeah, that's that's something. Um, overall, again, it's not as, probably as... Uh, you know, as eventful as the first issue, because the first issue had to explain a lot, but this one is really just about Garmin on, you know, fighting a giant bear. And it's fun, it's action-packed, it's really intense and cool, uh, but in terms of, you know, actual plot, it, not much happens besides Lord Moger kind of riding up into town and Garmin on beating up a bear. So in terms of plot, I'll probably give it, like, you know, overall, I'll give the review a 9 out of 10. Just, just shy of a 10, just like the issue 1, because really not much happens in this besides a bear fight. But it is interesting, and I'm not complaining, but, you know, I do have to review this for you guys. So that is issue two. I tried not to show every panel, you know, but, you know, I have to review it anyway, much like issue number one. So I'm going to do a little cut here, and when I return, I will be uh, doing a little, uh, I guess, uh, reenactment of the first few pages of Garmin on issue number two. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to end the video right after that, so make sure to subscribe if you want more Ninjago content. I'm going to be reviewing issue three, four, and I believe five is the final issue of this run. Hope you guys enjoyed this little reenactment. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy. Ah, oh, good. I managed to catch up to you. Well, brother, it seems like Ninjago owes you a debt of gratitude once again. A rather peculiar habit for an evil conqueror, don't you think? Yes. I cannot rule a land of ash. Saving you and the ninja was an unfortunate side effect of preserving Ninjago for myself. Perhaps... But when you joined our tornado of creation to defeat the Oni, you still chose to side with the forces of light. Then you're a fool, Wu. I chose the side I always do. My side. Your motives are your own, Garmadon, but the good that has resulted from your actions cannot be denied. Not even by you. Oh, may I? What? Wow. <laughs> uh, this thing is heavy. Uh, what are you doing? 
How dare you? You will feel the full fury of my might. Nothing will be left of you but dust and bones. No, enough with the theatrics. It's just a hat. Here, wear mine. You may find it to be more suitable for the journey. What journey? I'm done traveling with you. I know. This journey you must travel on your own, I'm afraid. But know this. Regardless of whatever path you choose, you will always be my brother.